everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm just about to finish up this shortwave radio antenna, which, honest to God, is one of the weirdest things that I've ever kind of put together. It's big, it's floppy, it's awkward. I'm not 100% certain whether it works, but I should be able to get it up the tree and secure it up there pretty well. If you remember the other day, I used a, um, a bow and arrow to launch a string over the tree. I launched fishing line over the tree, and it did end up working out pretty well. We did three tries on it. Uh, we ended up using the third try, but every single one of them went up and over the tree, and we were able to retrieve it. It went uh, really surprisingly smoothly. Um, got the fishing line over, pulled some string over, and then used the string to pull some twine over, some 210-pound uh, uh, twine. So um, I might, I might uh, upgrade to something even beefier than that, but for the time being, I think the twine is going to work out pretty well. And I need to wait. Uh, I need to find a way of attaching it to the end of this uh, antenna. And what I decided to do is uh, I wanted to uh, kind of clamp something on here that would have like a, a loop at the end. And uh, this is half inch uh, PVC pipe. I took some three quarter inch pipe. I cut off a, a foot long section cut that in half on my table saw and it made these two kind of noodles that I put into my uh, solar oven and just let them sit there for, uh, I don't know, like 10 minutes or so at about 350 degrees just sitting in the solar oven, turned them into floppy noodles and I took those floppy noodles, folded them around here with gloves on and uh, just kind of formed them so that they would uh, work right here, uh, like they'd attach and there's like a little uh, attachment point right there. I think it's going to work out pretty pretty well. Uh, so the, the next step here is I want to uh, use some PVC glue uh, to glue this on. I've got some zip ties. I'm going to use those to physically secure it. And um, hopefully that's going to work out pretty well. Again, this is one of the weirdest uh, things that I've ever kind of put together. And I'm not 100% certain even now whether it's going to work. But uh, certainly getting the string over the tree worked better than I had anticipated it would. And uh, Hopefully uh, getting it all hoisted up there and everything is going to work out pretty smoothly as well. Okay, here we go. You got to work a little bit fast with this stuff. So I'm going to hold that in place. Or should I put the zip tie on first? Or maybe I do them both simultaneously. This would be good with uh, two people, I guess. At least I got a mouth. There we go. Come on. I'm trying to have the glue stick to it a little better. I wonder, you know, I should probably, when I do the other end, I will... Uh, kind of pre-loop these things and uh, make it so that they will uh, uh, you know, be ready to just kind of flop on as a loop. So that would be an improvement over what I just did here. I think I'm going to do three of them. Alright. Nice and snug there. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do one extra right in the middle. But I think this is going to hold it on pretty nicely. And again, like I said, it, it creates a little loop right up here. And uh, I'll be able to tie that on with my twine. I tried to get twine that was UV resistant because it's going to be up there in the in the sun. Uh, but the nice thing is it'll be easy to lower, I raise and lower this thing, so I can I can swap out the uh, uh, you know the rope or the twine or whatever I end up using uh, you know whenever I feel like it. And I could I could swap it out periodically as well. So there you go. It's got a uh, connection point on the end, and it doesn't use any metal, so it shouldn't interfere with the. Uh, the signals and hopefully I'll know by tonight whether this thing even functions at all. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.